Welcome back to Green Lady Permaculture. Um, today I am in my chicken run and I'm prepping a couple of things because next week um, I'm finally going to get my birthday present. Um, we put it off for a little while because we were just waiting for the solar to come in and I got tired of waiting. So um, my, apologize for all the cars, um, my birthday present is Muscovy Ducks. Um, and I've been wanting them for a while because I like the idea of having at least two meat sources and we no longer keep quail. Um, a little quick thing on that. One moment. Urban. Gotta love it. Um, right over here next to me used to be right down here used to be where all we kept, we kept all of our quail. Um, it was a big coop that we built up and, uh, it had archway over it and everything, um, you know, keep, keeping them contained. But honestly, the reason I don't que keep quail anymore is, well, the protein ratio. Yes. They're ready to eat in like seven, eight weeks, but you have to hatch them yourself. Merlin's chasing a dove. <laughs> um, you have to hatch them yourself, incubate and hatch them yourself, unless you get something like silkies. I tried that, wasn't worth the hassle. Silkies kept getting beaten up by the other chickens. We got rid of the quail because of that. They got, they would get, you know, seven to eight weeks, they'd get big enough to eat, but they're like this big. And it's like half of that's bone and guts. So there's really not that much meat on them at all. Um, it's okay. It's not great meat. Um, for the trouble you have to go through, not worth it. And then you've got their protein. Their, their meat, game birds have a higher protein requirement. And, um, I want something that I can feed kind of like my chickens, which I mean, the Muscovy ducks I can. My chickens get everything from my kitchen anyway, and the Muscovy ducks will be quite happy with that. I just want to make sure maybe I'm giving a little bit more protein. I've been considering going back to raising a couple of different protein sources um, for my animals. I used to do that when I kept reptiles. We'll see if that's actually something I get into at this point, but it'll probably be a winter project if I do. I don't have enough time right now to do it. So I'm going to prep the yard today. Today is June 21st, Lithia. It's the idea of in many cultures, in many cultures, it is called different things. Today is summer solstice. Lithia, it's the longest day of the year. Um, and no matter what culture you come from, the idea of the solstices being the time where you look forward till the next solstice and you kind of try and figure out what you want to do before the next solstice. Um, it's kind of like New Year's resolutions, but half year marks, they're a little bit more attainable in my opinion, and it tends to be a lot more life centric than whatever New Year's resolutions people decide to make are. So I tend to like the solstice resolutions better. Um, so I'm getting prepared for the ducks. And hopefully um, by winter solstice, we will have tried our first duck. We're getting six and um, I only plan to keep three to four of them. Um, possibly only three, two or three out of this batch. And then I may raise up some more later because I want some unrelated stock. So we'll see how that goes. Um, but I have to set everything up for them. So I'm gonna give you a quick tour of what the chicken yard looks like right now. And then we'll come back when I've prepped over the last week, over the next week, when we get the ducks and I'll kind of show you what everything is. They are not going in here right away. So I have some time. Um, they will be going into a big Rubbermaid tote thing I had. It's like a 300 gallon big thing um, that I usually use for catching rainwater, but I'm going to be emptying it and I'll show you how that's going to work. I'm over here where we've got some of our plants coming in. Um, and some of you might remember this area from way long videos ago, but this right here 
is where, um, right here, is where the hutch used to be, the purple hutch, um, for the quail. And then it came up and over here as the entryway to where you could walk in. Obviously, it's not like that now. We've got some plants. Um, and the rabbits are built up onto this area a lot more than they used to be. And basically, hey girly, um, this here is what I'm going to use for the, um, uh, for the duck house. It's a run area, um, and it has a little entry that's cut into here. This part flips up back over here. So it just kind of flips up. And the chicken's just like climbing on this. But see this? This comes off like this. And I think I'm going to move it, this whole unit long ways right here. So I'll try something like that. And then this pallet will probably stay here. This adds for a lot of circulation and stuff. And during the winter, I can just cover a tarp over it. And that'll give them a completely enclosed area where they can get in right here. So, and I'll probably have to cut that out a little bit more and maybe trim it. So we've got this. Uh, that's the warm bin. And service berries, hops growing up this. They're doing really well. All climbing up over there. I'll show you guys from the outside in a little bit. Um, that is a Washington Hawthorn. And I'm really actually kind of happy it's right there. Um, these are those willows that I stuck in the ground that were literally just cut off my neighbor's tree when he coppiced it um, and pull, I mean, he pollarded it. And um, <clears throat> I stuck them in the ground. They're rooting. And then over here, and remember, this is all where we compost everything. We just toss everything on the ground in here. This is the chicken run area. Um, I've got some nests. This is all just covered. It's not like there's an entryway or anything. It's just, just a good shade area for them. Got an old cat kitchen cabinet in here. What is it, darlings? That's Joan Jet. That's Joan has the white patch on her wing, and Jet doesn't. So please don't make a nest back there. You're going to, aren't you? Darn it. Anyway, it looks like they're looking for places to lay eggs. They also have their little uh, eggplant, which is what I call this. Um, it's their little house. They sleep on it when the weather's not as nice. And then they sometimes lay eggs in here. But there's just some sticks and branches for them to rest on. And then that goes around over there, and that's just where I store extra cardboard and straw and hay. So, give you an idea. Kind of get the whole idea of the yard here. No, Joan. Joan, back up. What do you want? Joan, back up. That little kick stop's really important. Go back. Not only does it keep Joan back, it keeps all that dirt and the compost in. 
Now I'm storing a lot of wire and mesh stuff over here right now. Um, we're going to be using a lot of this, but this is what I've been using to catch rainwater for right now. Um, I've also been dumping a lot of my tub water into this, um, just so I can use it later. Um, it's kind of like a gray water system. And when the sun hits it later, that fountain will turn on. But that needs to get emptied and hosed out because I'm going to raise the ducks in it. So this is the front of the chicken area. We've got a mulberry coming in here. This is a, um, a dwarf mulberry. And for a while we weren't sure if it was coming back. Um, Cascade hops. And since we're in the Cascades, that's the one we got. It's doing amazing. Um, and then we've got some golden hops. A kiwi vine that's just starting to come back. I think that's the Anna kiwi. And then um, that is the Sensation Lilac. And a Joseph Coat Climbing Rose, which I hope to climb up this. As well as having the kiwi come up from over here. And if the kiwi gets amazingly big, I might run some wires to the fence or something. Or even put in, you know, something more over here. Just so it has more trellising. But this is a nectarine back up. This is a Fantasia, I believe. Yes, Fantasia nectarine. And then this is a black currant cutting I took recently and it rooted. So I think I got some eggs. Did you have an egg? You know what you're telling me you had an egg? Let's go look. You're coming out of here, so. Ha. Nope, somebody else was on there though. I'm sorry. They're not sure what they're doing. 100% <laughs> this, right here. <sighs> so, either way, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Stay safe, stay healthy, and I will give you an update on this when the ducks arrive. Yak at you later. Bye.